Owner Builders Unite, welcome. We are doing an earthen adobe floor pour today. I'm gonna to show you, it's about 250 square feet. I'm gonna show you what we're doing, what the mix is. We got George and Tyler over here running the mixers. So what we're doing is we're grinding up straw. I took a chainsaw and I ran the chainsaw down the straw this way. About two inch slices like this. And then we have a pile over here. And then we grind it through the screen here to make it real fine, right? And so what our mix is, is these are these are crusher finds. They're local crusher finds that we got. They don't have much clay, but this is our main aggregate. This is our clay that I went down to Antonito, um, Colorado to grab. This is sifted clay. And so what it is, 15 scoops of this crusher finds, one scoop of clay, and one baseball of straw. We're running three mixers of that. We got guys running wheelbarrows, girls running wheelbarrows. We got water, we're adding water to this obviously for our mix. Here we go, we got a big crew. We're dumping it on the floor. Here's our big floor floor. We're about seven eighths done with the floor. We got Eric leading the flat work. Andy, Goldie, Faith. Say hey. Hey! Skip. <laughs> Skip. Jeff to merge. Jeff. Don't forget sparkles. Yeah, right? Look at the sparkles. Oh. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Sparkles is the official, I will eat everything off the floor. That's right. <laughs> so this is the first stage of the pour. We'll get back to you with more. Cool. I made these last year. They're a little narrow. They work. They're just a little narrow. The new ones have a nice broad blade, and it's a lot easier to get um, get the proper finish because tomorrow we want to come back and start hitting it with steel when we can't uh, separate the mud anymore into its constituent, you know, clay as the binder and then the aggregate and sand. Um, at that point, we're just pressing and gently moving a little bit of mud to flatten it, and we do transition over to steel at that point. So this is the only stage that we're using um, using wood, and that's just to make sure that the surface is still just, it's the same consistency as the whole rest of the floor. 